Steve Passanelli here with Tech Savvy Agent. I'm on the road and I'm here with Greg from Top Producer. He's actually the Midwest rep. How you doing, Greg? Good, Steve. You? Good, good. Yeah. So uh, if you saw on our post last night on Facebook, Google Voice is now released to the public. And I'm a little bit mad at Google because I never got my beta key. Uh, I signed up for it six months ago. They never sent me the invite. But Greg has been lucky enough to be using it for about eight months. So I'm still a skeptic. I'm not sure... If I want to use Google Voice, I actually didn't know all the features of Google Voice, to be honest with you. Uh, and Greg has been enlighten, enlightening me throughout the day. So I said, you know what, Greg, why don't you tell our tech savvy fans a little bit about Google Voice and how it's going to help your business. So top three features. What would you say a real estate agent would use on Google Voice? Absolutely. Uh, off the top of my head, I'd say the top three features are the, the voicemail transcription, okay. the ability to transfer your phone calls anywhere you're at. Okay. And the auto dialer. So the voicemail transcription is something that everybody probably knows about. You know, you hear Google Voice, okay, it transcribes, uh, you know, the voicemail so you can read it. But how would that be actually be used in a real life application? Why would a real estate agent benefit from it? Sure. I use it all the time. And I think the way an agent could use uh, the, the voicemail transcription, say you're out with uh, some of your clients, you're at a showing, um, and you're expecting a closing to happen. So you're waiting on a phone call from the title company. You see a phone call come in, you're not sure who it's from, goes to voicemail, they leave you that voicemail. Google's going to go ahead and take that voicemail, transcribe it, either send it to you in an email or a text or okay. both, depending on uh, what set. you'd like, right? And then secretly or quietly, I should say, <laughs> you can look at your phone, read the email or the text, find out if it's something that you have to respond to right now. And if it's not urgent, you don't have to interrupt the clients that you're with. But if okay. it is, you can always step out and make that phone call. All right, I can, I can buy that, and, and I think most of you probably uh, already knew that, that Google Voice did that, but why don't you tell me maybe something that we didn't know Google Voice could do for them. The ability to transfer phone calls wherever you're at, that's probably my favorite uh, piece of Google Voice. So Google Voice has the ability to allow you to input all of your different phone numbers, your home okay. phone, your cell phone, and your office phone, or any other phones you might have, up to, I think you can put as many as you want in there. Okay. So... Uh, let's say, for example, Monday morning, I'm at the office making phone calls. Uh, I can tell Google from, from 8 to 12 on Monday mornings, I want you to send all my phone calls to my office phone. Maybe the rest of the week, uh, in the afternoons, I want you to send it to my cell phone because that's when I'm on the road doing business. Wow. Right? And in the evenings, I always want it to go to my house phone. You don't want to burn up your cell phone minutes if you don't have to. Right? Absolutely. So it'll send your phone calls wherever you tell them to send it. The other cool part about it is the ability to transfer, and this is where it gets really cool. Okay. I'm sitting in the office, and I'm on a phone call, but I look at my watch. i got to go to an appointment. I'm, I'm already late. i got to get on the road, but this is an important phone call. I really don't want to tell this guy or this girl, hey, i got to go. Right? right. I hit one button. Google's going to dial the rest of my phones. I pick up the one I wanted to transfer to. It seamlessly changes the phone call to my other phone, and I'm on my way out the door. So yeah. I pick up my cell phone on the way out the door. The person on the other end didn't even know it happened, and I can continue my phone call and make it to my appointment. So uh, you know that I gotta say that that's pretty tech savvy. Uh, the, the ability to go right from your office line, so you don't use your cell phone minutes when you're at your office. But then shoot, you need to leave for that appointment. Uh, you don't want to hang up the phone or say, "Hey, can I call you back?" Because you're in the heat of that conversation. You hit the button, you're gone. All right. That's pretty good. That, pretty that's cool. probably, I'll, I'll right. give you that one. All right, so there's one more. We, we did the top three, so what's the last one? I, I would say the last one comes out of pure laziness on my part. It's right. the auto dialer. So let's say you're working in Top Producer or any other program for that matter, but let's say you're working in Top Producer, you're in your contacts. It's somebody you haven't talked to, maybe you don't know the telephone number off the top of your head. You've got fat thumbs like I do. You don't like dialing telephone numbers. You don't like looking up and down at the screen to dial the number. Right. All you've got to do is copy the number, control C. Control V right into the Google dialer that's going to be right in your eye, Google. Mac or wherever you want Nancy. It. Absolutely. <laughs> you drop it right into the dialer. It's going to dial your personal phone, whichever one you tell it to dial. You pick that up. It's going to connect you to the other line, and now you're connected for the phone call. You've never dialed a single number. It was all two clicks, wow. and it's off and dialing. So whether it's a phone number you looked off, off the Internet or you're in your top producer, it's so great. So you could be typing in notes right into your top producer for the conversation. You click the – or you – Copy and paste. Now you drop it into, is it something on your desktop or do they have to go to a website to uh, If you're in Google that? Voice, running Google Voice in the background, it's in your Google Voice. Preferably, uh, I keep it in my iGoogle. So I've got all my stuff. I've got my Gmail going right. on. I've got my, yep. my dialer up for Google Voice and I've got all my news and stuff in my iGoogle. So it's right That's there. It's, it's always running. And the coolest part about it is 
other auto dialers, maybe you all you only could tie it into your office phone, right? Right. Now you've got the ability to have a universal auto dialer. So it's going to call home. my home phone if I'm at home. It's uh, going to call my cell phone if I'm mobile computing on the road. If I'm sitting in the office, it's going to go right to the office phone. So as opposed to having an auto dialer in a program only connected to one phone, now I'm connected to all my phones with an auto dialer. That's pretty awesome. So those are three pretty good features, but um, I heard a... Uh, you mentioned a couple times throughout our interview here that your Google voice number, your Google voice number. So do I need to get a new phone number? I mean, I have a phone number that my clients have had for 10 years. You know, what, what do I do about that? You know, you have two options. The first option is not to get a Google voice number. But I will tell you, if you don't get a Google voice number, you're going to limit the options within your Google voice account. So you'll be able to do the voicemail transcription and a few of the other things but you're not going to be able to do a lot of the really cool stuff like the transferring calls and, okay. and some of the other really cool features that Google Voice has to offer. I went the other route. I chose to get a Google Voice number. You know, I was the same way. I had a cell phone number for a long time. I didn't want to change it, but I, I bit the bullet once, and I'm never going to have to change my phone number again because now no matter how many okay. offices I switch to, no matter how many times I move my home phone and get a new number, no matter how many times I go back and forth between AT&T and Verizon, never going to have to get another another phone number because it's always going to forward to my most current number. It's awesome. That, that is pretty cool. So you can still keep your number. Your mom and your sister, brother can still call you yeah. on your old number Absolutely. and gradually switch over to that Google voice. It's not like you need to make that change that day. My recommendation, and, yeah, my recommendation would be, uh, you know, your friends and family, they have your number. They've always had it. Keep it the same way. Going forward, though, your new sign writers, your new business cards, moving forward, start using your Google phone number. And over time, you know, it'll start to gradually yeah. go in and, and you'll be able to use that new one. That's a good idea. Sort of like kicking that AOL account email address. <laughs> <Yeah>. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so those are three good reasons. Uh, this is actually only going to be the first. Uh, we're going to come back because we only skimmed the surface. There are a ton of other Google Voice features, what you tell me. Tons of About uh, direct phone calling on your website, your blog, call me now, and it, it uh, connects the two phones. Like, it's great. I yeah. mean, the widgets alone for Google Voice are worth signing up. And best of all, it's free. Everything is free. So don't worry. This is only the first one. We're going to go over the other features, and we're going to go over the other features uh, in depth, too, so you guys know step by step. But we wanted to give you the quick overview ASAP, even though we're on the road here, because that's what we do at Tech Savvy Agent. So I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. Greg, thanks for... Uh, hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming out here today, even though you're stuck with me all day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Thanks.